So as we're uh, kind of increasing the difficulty level on some of our forearm um, exercises and rehabilitation, kind of uh, targeted primarily more towards the medial and lateral condylopathies, uh, some of the long tendon issues, and, and this is this could just be a general grip, uh, grip training um, maneuver also, is when you have um, combinations of movements where some of these muscles, uh, cross elbow, wrist, one or the other back and forth, so you have kind of like a short and long group, so all these other kind of fun stuff. Um, so, and especially when we're doing more functional activities, whether it's a workplace type thing or sports, sometimes we have a hard grip on something, sometimes we don't. So one of the ways we try and work these different combinations of co-contraction is with a uh, rubber band and either like a dowel or this is like a TRX rib trainer thing. Just about anything would kind of work. A lot of the gym type stuff. Like one of these dudes from the gym probably get the job done too. So basically for this guy, what we're gonna do is we're going to grip the pole and we're gonna have the band attached to the top of it, so it's gonna try to pull and kick it. So whether I'm facing, uh, with the band going across my body, it's gonna try and pull me more into pronation, so I have, to, I have to activate more of the supination. If I hold on this side, and I go, and I hold there, it's gonna try and kick out like so. So it's kind of trying to pull me into supination, so I have to pull it more into pronation. So as we go back and forth, we're gonna hit all the different combos on it. So when we hold on to the pull, the higher I hold up onto it, as far as for our starting points of resistance, the higher I pull up on this, the more leverage this has to pull and kick it into the uh, into the rotational pronation supination deviation. When we first start, you can start pretty high. So when we have, when, so when we first line up and feel that feels like it's a good amount of tension, we're just going to do like a punch inwards and outwards. As we go back and forth, what we're looking for is we're going to see these muscle groups across the forearm go from a shortened to a lengthened position, but we're maintaining the grip on the pole the entire time as we go each way. We want to make sure we get a good lockout on the elbow too. We're not jamming it into extension, but considering that part of the goal of this and a lot of these tendon maneuvers is to get either a full shortening or full lengthening under load. If we stop a little bit, we're not going to get that full work into it. And clinically, if it hurts, well, we need to know if that still hurts or not because we'll probably end up doing this in real life at some point. So that's part of our outcome measures. So when we find a good resistance point up and down, we would just go in and out all the way. So this to be kicking us more into pronation, so this is a good more, more accurate to supination. And as we flop around, just go to the other side. So as I hang into it and I go back and forth, this would want to kick me like so. I have to act more, activate a little more of the flexor pronator group as I go back and forth and work it through its entire range of motion. So a lot of these can be a little more functional considering that we have a hard grip on it. This would be a lot of your uh, more just like typical like mechanical type things, whether like large wrenches, screwdrivers, things like that, a lot of prying type motions back and forth. So in a, a way to kind of condition that in a more controlled setting would be a maneuver like this, because we get the leverage back and forth with the hard um, uh, kind, of, kind of fixated grip pressure as we go back and forth on top of that. So everything kind of has to work together. You have to maintain the, almost like the isometric of a flexor group holding onto the pole as the muscles have to lengthen and shorten back and forth both the flexor and extensor. So this has been pretty helpful for uh, a little more of the uh, later on stages of rehabilitation for a lot of chronic forearm issues. Kind of really helps you tune into kind of almost like the seek and destroy type thing of finding any of these little tendinopathy issues, like what angle, especially if it's more of like a later in rehabilitation, not specific issue, like you just catch it here and there, but not always. This kind of can seek out some of those and try and expose them a little bit better to see can we find an exercise that can we can work in a controlled setting uh, train the uh, most limited or painful pattern and get through it.